1. The photogrammetric metrology kit only works with a Miraco Plus 3D scanner. The RevoScan PC version must be version 5.4.12 or above. 2. Magnetic and sticky coated targets should not be mixed within the same kit. The coded targets in this kit should not be mixed with coded targets from other kits, as numbering mm -hmm. conflicts may occur. 3. Each scale bar and coded target has a unique ID and measurement value. Different sets of scale bars cannot be mixed, and coded targets with duplicate IDs cannot be used together. For coded targets can be used by themselves, but to ensure sufficient coverage of the object's surface for point cloud scanning, they can also be used with high reflectivity marker points. 5. The object or scene being captured must have a rigid surface. The object should not be deformed or displaced during the process to avoid accuracy errors. Firstly, in the scanning environment, it is essential to ensure uniform and soft lighting, a clean and clutter-free space, a stable and stationary scanning object, and no highlights or shadows on the surface. Secondly, when placing code targets and markers, place them randomly, avoid creating repeating patterns, and avoid placing them in detail-rich areas. Use the magnetic-coded targets to scan a metal object, such as a vehicle's door. Place the coded targets 15 to 20 centimeters apart and the markers 8 to 10 centimeters apart. Ensure there are at least 8 coded targets per single frame. Finally, when placing the scale bars. The scale bars should be positioned close to the object's surface or around it. When placed, they need to form angles and should not be parallel to each other. When placing the scale bars, choose an area without any markers if possible. Avoid covering the coded targets or markers, and include at least two scale bars. Next, we'll demonstrate the capture process for three scenarios. The car scan will show the entire process, while the other two scenarios are only for reference. Before using the photogrammetry function for the first time, scan the QR code in the toolbox to import the scale bars information into the software. Tap here, select photogrammetry, and then tap import scale bar info to scan the QR code and import the information. After successfully importing the data, the interface will show the scale bars information. Next, tap start, enter a project name, and tap OK to enter the capture interface. Before starting the shoot, plan the shooting path. Divide the scanned object into several consecutive shooting areas covering the entire object, ensuring the adjacent shooting areas overlap at least 50%. Shoot each localized area from at least five directions, including up, down, left, right, and center. Start by shooting the middle by centering the scanner perpendicular to the object's surface. Then, to capture the four surrounding areas, angle the scanner to around less than or equal to 45 degrees when capturing the areas to the sides and above the center point. The number of photos should be determined based on the specific situation. It's recommended to take at least 30 photos. However, when dealing with larger and more complex objects like a car, taking as many photos as possible is recommended. Keep a distance of 0.8 to 1.3 meters between the scanner and the object when shooting. Ensure that at least 8 coded targets can clearly be seen in a single frame and keep the scanner stable. Don't move the scale bar, coded targets, or markers during the shooting process.
After you've completed the shoot, tap here to start the calculation. Upon successful calculation, you may choose to continue scanning the point cloud. If you don't want to continue scanning, tap here to return and save the global marker point file. To continue scanning the point cloud later, tap on the scanning settings. Select the global marker point as the stitching method, tap here, and find the global marker point file in photogrammetry. Tap confirm, tap OK, and proceed with point cloud scanning. After successful calculation, if you need to continue scanning, tap the scan button in the lower right corner to capture the point cloud data. For the point cloud scan, the scale bars can be removed, but the coded targets and markers must remain. At least five markers need to be recognized in a single frame. After scanning, tap the model button in the bottom right corner to access the model processing interface for editing. You can also transfer the project to a PC for additional operations.